Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fire Sign Tarot. Hope everyone is well. Still knocking them out for April. I got two signs left to do. Scorpio and Pisces. So, Scorpio, it is your turn. Throwing down your cards. I appreciate your patience. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I'm just going to throw that out there real quick. Um, yeah, so, I'm super tired. I'm like almost to an unhealthy level of exhaustion, so... I'm going to try to knock this out before I get all slap happy and weird. All right, Scorpio. This reading will be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If it resonates with you, cool. It's your free will. Do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards. If you choose to do anything at all, it is your journey, not mine. I am just throwing down cards. If it doesn't resonate, that's okay, too. You can check your Moon, Rising, or Venus sign readings if you think you might want something that may resonate a little bit better. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid, and all things can and maybe vice versa. Might even play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And our dear friends, the cross watchers, are always welcome here at the Fire Sign Tarot table. Everybody's always welcome here. Enjoy it when people stop by. Thanks for coming out. All right. Before I give the invocation and throw your cards down, two quick things. One, never, ever make a life altering decision based on a tarot reading. It's just not a good idea. I, I, I read tarot when I wouldn't recommend it. Two, if it is not your reading, not your story, not your message, it's not vibing with you at all, leave the cards on the table and walk away. It's not always going to be your message every time. That's pretty much how this works. Okay. Heavenly Father, Mother, Earth, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, and Archangels, I ask for any messages you have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, April 2021. Thanks for coming down and hanging out with us today. Let's bring Scorpio to their highest possible spiritual good and put him on their highest possible spiritual path. Scorpio, why are you here? The world in reverse. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Hmm. This could indicate a return of some kind. doesn't necessarily have to. At best, it... At best, at worst, depending on your perspective on things... Something didn't complete. An old cycle didn't end. A new cycle can't begin. We'll see what the rest of the cards have to say. What happened, Scorpio? King of Cups. Four of Pentacles reversed. Okay. You held a great big huge cup for someone, had to let them go. For whatever reason. Again, we'll get clarity here in a minute. What's going on right now? King of Wands reversed. I just got super sad. You're not really doing much of anything right now. You're not moving forward. You're just stuck. Wow. Okay, somebody stole your thunder. What's coming in? Justice and the Ten of Pentacles. That is not, that's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. That's the balancing of possibly karma. I don't know. But, you know, Ten Pentacles is not a bad ending. Because that's abundance. That's the, I love this. That's the big brick house with the white picket fence and the pool out back and the 2.5 kids and the dog and the nice car in the driveway. The pretty green lawn and the big back porch where you sit and sip and lemonade, watching the grandkids play in the backyard while the sun sets. That's, that's not a bad ending. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say, friends. Top of this King of Cups is a King of Swords. On top of this, Four of Pentacles reversed is a Knight of Cups reversed. You had to let him go. You had to cut communication off for whatever reason. You held a great big cup of love for him, but logic had to prevail. Somebody cut communication off here. Somebody had to make a head over heart decision. That's why something didn't come to an end. Possibly. Why is the King of Wands here? Four of Cups upright. Oh, wow. 
you're not moving forward because you're thinking about it. I'm going to get one of this four of cups in just a second. But that's an offer. Don't know if it's new, don't know if it's old, but that's an offer. Hmm. All right, why is justice here? Ace of Swords reversed. We're balancing a playing field with silence. an emperor on top of that ten of pentacles. That's awesome. That's being in large and in charge of your own party and your own destiny and your own pentacles. That's being good. Hmm. It's my way or the highway. Okay. Universe, source, and spirit. Can I get some clarity in the cards on the table for Scorpio? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Clarity on the cards on the table for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, April 2021. Two more shuffles. I think we'll have it. One. And a two. Why do you shuffle and cut if you're just going to let him fly? Because that's how I roll. Yeah, put the energy into the cards. Well, hello, Queen of Cups. There's the king, there's the queen. Apparently they, 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 they think they may have a matched cup and there's the cup right there. Somebody's sitting on an offer. Someone just have an offer presented to them and you're not doing anything with it. Now I gotta know why. Empress. It's very interesting because that's an emperor. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it just got thick, Scorpio. It just got thick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They may think they are the empress to your emperor. Leave that right there. <sighs> Why is this King of Cups here? One card. One card. Hi. Four pentacles upright. Oh, they held on for dear life. You did or they did. Somebody did. Somebody didn't want to let go. Why is the King of Swords here? Knight of Pentacles. Somebody may have thought they didn't measure up. Somebody may have made a head over heart decision because they thought they, their offer wasn't big enough or their offer wasn't good enough. Or that, wow, oh man. Whoa. I'm getting a little misty. I'm getting a little misty. Why is Four of Pentacles reversed here? Nine of Swords. Flips to the reverse when it landed. I'll take it reversed. One more on that Nine of Swords reverse.
Four of Swords, Page of Cups, both came out. That's the point when somebody laid it to rest and let go. There may have been some messages, but I think somebody kept that under their hat for a while. Why is the Knight of Cups reversed here? Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody held it under their hat. Patiently waited. And now we're in the now. Why is the King of Wands reversed here? Three of Swords reversed and the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody's not moving on this for practical purposes. Scorpio will just say it's you. Are not moving on this because you're getting over it. You're healing. You're coming out of that state of heartbreak. You could be trying to find someone to give your Pentacle to because you want to work on the Ten Pentacles down here. You got it going on. Why is the Four of Cups here? I have Tony Braxton playing in my head right now. I'm just saying. You know what song. It's always a jukebox. I know that's my dad. That's my dad. When I start hearing songs, that's my father playing the jukebox up upstairs. Let me tell you. <laughs> Two of swords reversed. Oh, wow. Do I take the cup? Do I not take the cup? <laughs> What's in the cup? One on the two of swords reversed, please. The hermit. Have we healed enough to be exchanging cups again? Because that screams return. It's in my face. Especially with this being over here, this justice card. Because this comes up when there's been some kind of injustice or when the playing field hasn't been level. So, why is justice here? I'm going to throw a card on it. I already know why, but I'm just going to see if the universe will concur. Why justice? Thanks. Queen of Swords. She stands for truth and justice. Somebody's going to be coming in with truth to level out the playing field. Possibly an explanation. Why is the Ace of Swords reversed here? Well, I'll be darned. It's the Emperor. I'm working on me. Why 
the Ten of Pentacles here. Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio. I'm proud of you. The Tower. <laughs> represents sudden change. Can represent, um... Intervention of the universe, uh, ironically enough, a, another card of Scorpio. So, I mean, why the tower? Wheel of Fortune. The ending of a cycle. The beginning of a new. Hmm. Interesting, Scorpio. Why is the Emperor here? I'm just throwing down cards. Don't look at me. The lovers. Can indicate a choice. Can indicate a soulmate connection. Can indicate um, love being slightly unequal. I mean, it can. One more on this lovers. It's a pretty open ended card for a clarifier right there. One on the lovers, please. Thanks. Temperance. Well, now we're getting somewhere. That's the card of positive energy and positive vibes. Patience. Energy's being good between you. Can indicate closure when it's laying with the rest of that. Especially with the wheel of the year and the tower. That's screaming closure to me. Something was left hanging out there in the beginning of this scenario. It's coming to a close might come with the moon. I mean, tis the season, right? I think that's actually happening this weekend. So, let me know if this resonated. Let's get your advice. Five of Swords reversed. Four of Wands reversed. Seven of Swords upright, Eight of Wands upright. Wow. Holy Moses. Wow. Beware of shady deals. If something just doesn't seem right, it, it probably isn't. They could well be just seeing how well you're doing and trying to sneak their way back in because that's what good old uh, Seven of Swords here does. See how he left two swords behind, but he carried those five away? They may just be coming back or, you know, like they needed an excuse. If something doesn't seem right, it probably isn't. Like if something happens a little bit too quickly, a little bit out of the blue. So just be aware of that. And close the doors on that as fast as you can. That's what that's saying to me right now. The chariot and the ten of swords. Keep your distance. Keep the distance there until, at least until the Tony Braxton song's over with, and you've healed.
death and the three of pentacles you are in the midst of a soul change and you're laying the foundation for something solid in your life you have to allow for that process one more little bit and then we're gonna call it game okay five of wands reversed and the star reversed avoid conflict avoid exchanges with whoever this is if this is resonating with you because exchanges be positive or negative impede the healing process okay all right i love you guys thank you so much for your patience let me know if this resonated have the head uh, oh i'm getting tired i can tell because i'm slurring my words have a good rest of your april know that you're loved be blessed Hopefully knocking out all the May readings this coming week so I can get them done and over with by the 30th. So maybe next weekend I can take four days off <laughs> from tarot and do my bread and butter job and, you know, process things and, you know, not feel like I'm rushed. Anyway, love you, Scorpio. Thanks for coming by. I'll catch you next time.